In this video, we're making pre-decodable books right inside of Seesaw. Making pre-decodables in your classroom is not only going to make your library more robust, but it's going to allow you to use Seesaw in a super unique and amazing way. We're going to start by adding in our title. Next, let's add in our directions. And then finally, we're going to go into the student template. We're going to choose drawing because this is going to give us all the tools we need to be able to create our book. The first thing I'm going to start with is grabbing a picture of our squirrel. I'm going to be using a tool today called publicdomainvectors.org. This is a place where there is lots of images available for you to use and there's no usage restrictions around these. You can even use these for commercial use. We have a lot of these awesome hand-drawn squirrels that we're going to be using for our story today. Let's start by picking a squirrel picture for the cover. I can download this if I want to, or I can right click and copy this, and then I can paste it right on the Seesaw Canvas using keyboard shortcuts, Control V or Command V. I can resize this just a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my title up on top. So the title of this book is Look, a Squirrel. Let's change the style to be the far left just like this, and then I'm gonna make my text a little bigger so it looks like an actual book title, perfect. The next thing I'm going to do is actually duplicate this page and set up how I want these other pages to follow because this is our title, but when we're actually reading, we want the words to be at the bottom and our images to show up at the top. What I'm going to do is change these words into a template that I can just copy over and over again. So each page is gonna flow kind of like this. It'll say the squirrel, Ken, and then there's going to be something that's happening. So the squirrel's gonna be doing something. Before I uh, copy this and duplicate, I'm also going to add another support for students. I'm gonna keep this picture of the squirrel and try to keep it on top of the word squirrel everywhere that that shows up. That way students can correlate a picture to a word that they probably can't sound out. That's a tricky word for students. So we're gonna leave this in as a support so that they can see this word here means squirrel and they can see that uh, physically in front of them. Let's start by making a page that's called the squirrel can jump. So I'm gonna go back here to my website that I found our awesome pictures on and I'm gonna find one that is a squirrel jumping. Let's click on this one, I like this one and I'm gonna copy this right out of here. Again, I can download that if I want to and I'll paste it right on my canvas. We're gonna make the picture nice and big and finish up our sentence frame. The squirrel can jump. So once I have this here, I'm actually gonna slide it down just a hair and I'm gonna move this squirrel to be right on top of the word just like that. So we have our picture in place, we have the word squirrel correlating to that image, and we have everything set for this specific page. I'm going to now use this as my template to copy for the rest of the pages in our story. Let's go to the three dots and duplicate this page. I'm gonna get rid of this image of the squirrel and then change it out with a new one. Let's go back and see what options we have. Lou, let's pick this one. This is going to be our next picture and I'm gonna put it over here and I'll let you kind of discover what I'm gonna do with this word. So we'll put the squirrel on this side. I'm gonna get out my marker and add in a fun little element here. Let's start at the bottom and make our tree just like this. So this is, instead of saying the squirrel can jump, this one is going to say the squirrel can climb, just like that. Let's move our squirrel a little bit. Uh, one little trick as you're doing this, you can see this squirrel got covered up with the marker, and that's okay. What I can do then is right click on this and then change the order to bring it to the front. That way it's kind of like the squirrel's really climbing on the tree, just like this. If I wanted to change the angle a little bit to make it perfect, I can. I don't have to. Students can kind of see that this squirrel is climbing the tree. I'm gonna fast forward to our next page, the squirrel can eat here, replacing our picture, replacing our words, and making another page in our book. And let's do just one more page for example sake. We'll go back here and find one last picture. Let's get rid of this old picture, put in our new one. 
and we'll make it nice and big. So this last one, the squirrel can see you. Perfect. We'll make this a little bigger and we'll move our squirrel so it's perfect. There we go. The squirrel can see you. We can pretend that's our last page of our book. So you have the ability, if you have multi-page, which is a Seesaw for Schools option, to be able to add up to 20 pages in your book. I'm going to keep this at five simply for example sake. I'm going to click the check. So when you're ready to hand this out to students, you can simply just assign this for them to be able to fill out and complete on their own. You can see here, click the microphone and read the story is all in place. What will happen when students are clicking and reading is that it's going to make one recording for them as they flip through each page like this so that you get to listen to just one recording of your students reading the entire book out loud. That is the beauty of using the microphone feature in multi-page and how they can make each other better inside of the Seesaw Canvas. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're going to enjoy making pre-decodable books or really any kind of books in your classroom. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to go to web.seesaw.me lessons to see what we're working on next.